Here are four proven strategies that I've been implementing this year to enhance my productivity and actionable steps for each one. Number one, something that's been incredibly helpful in making me more productive is to write down my tasks for the day the night before. Now, you've probably heard about this one before, but it really, really is helpful. I normally find that before bed, that's when I'm most creative. That's when I can think through problems. So if you can harness this and write down all of your tasks for the next day, it means that when you wake up in the morning, you don't have to think about what you're gonna do. It's already written down for you. And you can use the mental energy you would have used putting together that list to actually achieve some of the goals on that list. If you don't incorporate any of the other strategies from this video, I strongly recommend you try this one out. It's been game changing for me. It's, it's huge. Strategy number two is around when you're overwhelmed with lots of different tasks, right? We all know those situations where our to-do lists just keep growing and growing, and it often leads to procrastination, right? For me, if my list gets too long, then I don't even want to do one of the tasks on that list, it's just too overwhelming. And obviously that's a bad thing because we know that that list is just gonna keep growing and keep growing. So something that has been helpful for me is to prioritize my tasks. And I've been doing this with something called an Eisenhower box, but I've adapted it slightly. So basically along the bottom, you write urgency. Along the side, you write importance. And then you break up your chart into four sections. So in the top right, you have urgent, important. In the top left, you have important, not urgent. You get the idea. Now, what you can do is you take your long list of tasks and you start plugging them in to this chart. But what's really useful about this is you're not just listing whether a task is important or not, because everything is important. Otherwise, you wouldn't have written it down in the list to begin with. What you're doing is you're comparing tasks to other tasks. So when you put a new task in, you're thinking to yourself, is this more urgent or less urgent? Is this more important or less important than the last task that I put in? And by doing this, you very clearly break up your tasks and you'll notice that your tasks fall into these different categories. It takes a bit of getting used to, but you'll get the hang of it pretty quickly. And then comes the fun part. Once you have all of your tasks in this chart, then you can start to do things with the tasks. So for example, if a task falls into urgent and important, then that's one of your key tasks. That's something you do straight away, first thing in the morning, no exceptions. If something is important but not urgent, then this is a task you can put off. And maybe you do this task in your spare time, or at least once you've finished the other tasks. Then you're gonna have some tasks which are urgent but not important. This is kind of your choice and what you do with this. If you're part of a team, maybe you can delegate these tasks out. For me, I just do these tasks after the other tasks. And this is my third priority. And then you're gonna have tasks which are not important and not urgent. We all know these tasks, ones that come in and really, if you don't do them, it's not the end of the world. So just eliminate these, right? Don't waste your time on these tasks. By using this modified Eisenhower box, you very clearly and very quickly prioritize your tasks. And I think it's a lot more effective than just simply listing out your tasks, high priority to low priority. I think that it's simpler and it gives you more actionable steps. It gives you actions that you can follow. Number three is around time management. Now you may have heard of something called the Pomodoro technique. And this is basically when you have a 25 minute session of really hard work and you follow it up with a five minute break. And to begin with, it feels a little bit weird because you have a five minute break every half an hour. But I find that the work I do in that 25 minute session is a lot better than the work I would do in a full 30 minute session. So I do think this is something worth doing. I think it's a valuable exercise. So basically what you do is you break down your day into 25 minute sessions. And once you've done four sessions and you've done a full two hours, you give yourself a bigger break, like a 15 minute break. This has been the sweet spot that I found to really help me plow through tasks and be extra efficient. And number four, last but by no means least, cut out distractions, right? It goes without saying that when you're doing difficult work, when you've got a heavy work session, don't check Facebook, don't check Instagram. But at the same time, I try not to have my phone on the table, or if I do, I put it into airplane mode so I'm not distracted with notifications. I also try not to listen to music because I find that distracting, but I do listen to kind of 
background noise, white noise, because I find that that helps me concentrate without distracting me from the task. And finally, the mother of all distractions, email. If I'm doing a work session, if I'm really working through a task, I really try not to check emails. In my eyes, there is nothing more distracting than getting an email when you're doing a task because it takes your attention away from what you're doing. And sometimes you even do a new task to answer the email. So you're, you're doing other stuff rather than the stuff you're supposed to be doing. So cut out distractions. If you're doing work, make sure you're actually doing the work. And there we go. Four strategies which have helped me enhance my productivity. I really hope that these work even better for you and that by watching this video, you can enhance your productivity. That would be absolutely awesome. Best of luck. I'll see you in the next video.